Hey guys, this is Dan for Licked, and today I'm going to be taking you through a few tips on how to record excellent audio directly into Final Cut Pro X. Now, before you do anything in Final Cut, it's really important to make sure that you make your audio environment as good as possible and as quiet as possible to record in. Try and find the quietest room you can and shut off things like aircon, close your windows to like minimize outside traffic noise, anything like that that you can do to make the room as quiet as possible, and that's gonna really help once we start recording. You can record straight into Final Cut using the inbuilt microphone in your laptop, but if you want the best possible quality audio, then I'd highly recommend grabbing an external microphone. I'm using an audio interface here and a Shure SM7B mic, which is a little more on the high-end scale of things, but if you're just starting out, I'd recommend grabbing something like a USB mic, maybe like the Blue Yeti USB mic, for example, and all you do with that is you just plug it straight into your laptop and you're pretty much ready to go. Once you've got your USB mic plugged in, all you have to do is go down to System Preferences down here, click on Sound, click on the Input tab, and I've got my interface plugged in, so it's saying Fireface UCX, but if you have something like the Blue Yeti mic, then it'll probably say Blue Yeti, and you just click on that, make sure that's selected as your input in system preferences. Okay, so now that we're all set up, all we have to do is go to Window, we click on Record VoiceOver, or you can press Option Command 8 to bring this Record VoiceOver panel up. Um, and then we make sure that the input is set to system setting. If I click on this, we can see that system setting is saying my audio interface, so Fireface UCX. If you're using a USB microphone, it should be displayed there as well. That's how you know that it's all set up and ready to go. As I'm talking into the mic, we should be able to see the levels coming through here on the level meter. We want to get those levels peaking at around three quarters of the way along the level meter, so around about here. If it's too high and hitting the red, we can lower the input gain. If it's too low, we can raise the input gain. And it's really that simple. You just wanna get those levels hitting around that three quarter mark and you should be good to go. Once that's done, we're gonna name our file. So we're gonna go with voiceover test for this example. Then we just hit the big red record button, wait for the countdown. And now we're rolling and recording a voiceover. Once we're finished, we just hit the big stop button and we're pretty much there, but we might wanna just trim the start and the end of the clip just so that we're left with just the bit that we want. If you didn't quite nail it the first time around, that is absolutely fine. The playhead returns to the start once you hit stop. So all you have to do is hit record again to get a few more takes. Once you've got a few takes on your timeline, like I've got here, we can play them all at once, but that's gonna sound horrible. And now, now you're, you're rolling, rolling, rolling recording, recording, recording a voiceover. A voiceover. Yeah, that's impossible. We can't tell what's going on and it's just a real mess. So what we're gonna do is solo each clip individually. So you do that by clicking on a clip and hitting Alt and S to solo it. If we then play that clip back, and now you're rolling and recording a voiceover. We can hear it soloed, it's nice and clean. We can hear exactly what's going on, which is what we want. You can then edit the voiceover however you want. If the start of one take was great and the end of another take was great, then just cut those two together and you'll have the perfect voiceover. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to this channel for more content like this. If you'd like to license the music track used in this video or other commercial music tracks, head over to the Licked website in the description below.